thank you so much for that uh, wonderful introduction and uh, uh, hi everyone uh, the panelists the uh, organizing team and uh, the participants happy to have the presentation here so straight away i just would like to go to the presentation and can you please uh, yeah so here uh, to say about our company uh, syndicate impex i want to navigate the slide next slide yeah so uh, our company syndicate impex was started in 2006 and right now we are running with three team in capacity and we are the first company in india to be certified with uh, green core certification which is for uh, sustainability auditor and uh, during this auditing uh, auditing time of uh, uh, green core we came to know about a lot of things about uh, sustainability and uh, uh, before I changed the whole perspective of how to look into the garment uh, industry. So before that, we were uh, highly into commercials, and we used to say how to uh, minimize the reduction and uh, how to minimize the uh, production cost and all those things. But whereas when we are working with uh, green co auditing, even though we have around 10 to 12 auditing already done in our factory, so this green co give us a very very uh, different perspective of how to. Uh, uh, calculate the resource that we are utilizing for manufacturing every single garment that we are making so that was a uh, very good uh, audit for us so which changed our whole perspective of uh, looking into the garment industry so after the auditing we thought of launching our own brand called eco hike which uh, eco is environment and hike is improving the environment where we would like to we address mainly on uh, uh, recycling the textile recycling to be uh, precise and uh, how to minimize the worst waste and uh, how to make sure that, that uh, the garment which we are making is not going to landfill so that is our main uh, vision mission statement to uh, start our journey and uh, moving on to the next slide can you yeah this is our first generation company and this is our factory so we are the first company to uh, be certified with Green Coast certification and uh, we have a capacity of making around 300,000 t-shirts per month in our in-house uh, facility and we have the uh, other certifications like uh, organic certifications, SEDEX and the Walt Disney Company, RAP is World Resource Go uh, World uh, Responsible Apparel Production and uh, BSCA, OKOTEX and uh, GRS for uh, Global Recycle Standards. So these are certifications which we have in our factory. So moving on to the next slide. To I just want to have a small given small insight before we start with the presentation. So even though we are the, a lot of uh, the participants and the panelists are from various industries. So when it comes to a textile or uh, as a garment, so sure we are everyone as a consumer we have our part to uh, play with and we have our uh, part in uh, the garment industry. So just a small statistics about the industry. So the number of garments sold in India in 2019 is around 300 crore garments has been sold. So of which more than 50% of the garments are made of uh, polyester, uh, which is a petroleum product. And uh, the sales is expected to raise 11.6% year on year. And, uh, and, the best, and the other part is not even 1% of the garment that has been sold is not recycled. And all the rest of the 99% of all the garments has been dumped into landfill. And maybe it takes five years or 10 years of time. In European countries, the garments will not be used more, not more than one or two years. Whereas in India, uh, thanks to our cultural uh, practice, we used to, uh, we, we have known, I mean, we have never uh, throw up, have the habit of disposing the garment unless until it is highly not wearable. So that extends a lifetime for around eight to 10 years maximum. And after that, there is no other facility or no other opportunity for the consumers to recycle it, so which eventually uh, end up in landfill. So the, poly, the number of garments that has been disposed every year in the, in the landfill. So the polyester garments, it takes 800 years to get, get it decomposed. So polyester is nothing but the PET garments. PET has been converted into polyester. Uh, and again, it is a petroleum product and it, it is highly uh hazardous and it will it just keep it keep on uh, spoiling the landfill so this 
we want to change and we would like to address how we can do and uh, during the uh, Winko auditing we thought of like how to change this uh, scenario and how to come up with a product which truly has a sustainable purpose so sustainability is not something converting uh, waste of one industry and uh, make it a waste of other industry say for example in India and uh, not only in India for the past five to ten years everyone is speaking about the recycling that way in the garment industry the PET, the PET bottle is being converted into uh, the uh, recycled t-shirts and uh, recycled uh, garments. But nobody is aware of, I mean, nobody is bothered about what is, what is happening to the end of the life cycle of the garment, which is being converted into uh, of the same t-shirts. So it is again going to the landfill. So we are not doing anything rather than extending the lifetime for next five to 10 years. So when PET, pay, PET has been thrown in the uh, landfill, it takes 500 years. And the same garment after five years it is again thrown into the landfill and again it takes the same number number of years and this time it also released a lot of microfiber into the into the landfill and also into the water bodies which is highly uh, contagious and high, which is highly uh, poisonous for both the uh, animals and also for uh, us to drink and consume it is highly polluting the environment and uh, the water bodies across the world so this we want to address and we are trying to uh, come up with a solution for uh, this uh, problem mm -hmm. and we launched this t-shirt. So moving on to the next slide. So here we launched a program called Meso, which is Mizen Zero and we had a mascot, a turtle mascot, which uh, denotes that uh, uh, Mission Zero Meso. And in this Mizen Zero, what we are trying to do is we are not only trying to recycle the t-shirts I mean to recycle the pet bottle into t-shirt but again that old t-shirts which has been consumed by the uh, consumer they we will buy back the garments and we are trying to recycle it again 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 without adding any virgin material and uh, without adding uh, uh, exploiting any natural resources so by this way we will like to make sure that the landfill has been removed so that is our main mission and we are trying to launch it in Europe next year. Next year, and the T-shirts which we are making has a lot of uh, uh, added benefits, and also it comes with a lot of environmental benefits, which I would like to explain in the next slide. So the next slide. So we are also addressing the SDG goals, uh, UN SDG goals, which we are uh, trying to see. So in our company, 80% 80, 80 of our uh, workforce is for women, and 100% we are uh, they are they are provided with hostel and uh, uh, water and canteen facility. So the uh, SDG goals of 1, 5, 6, 9, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 17 are something which we are addressing, and we are already. Uh, one of the finalists for uh, UNO seed award a couple of years back and unfortunately we are not able to win the award but uh, we tried our best to uh, go to the finalists out of 90 contestants in uh, UN SDG. Moving on to the next slide please. So what is the speciality and how we make the t-shirts? So the t-shirt which I am wearing is uh, made of recycled 100% uh, recycled pet bottle and in, while making every single t-shirt we will be recycling 12 pet bottles to make a single t-shirt and we have not added any uh, color to the to, uh, to the garment because whenever we go for coloring a uh, lot of salt and a lot of chemicals has been used even though uh, we live in a cluster in the Thirupur cluster where we have the zero liquid discharge still there is a lot of uh, unanswered questions for solid waste that has been generated so the liquid waste is recycled with huge amount of energy and uh, firewood in Tirupur. But whereas the solid waste is still, still been uh, remain as a uh, landfill and there is no, no solution as on date for uh, the solid waste generated in the dyeing industry. So to avoid that, we make sure that the garment is not dyed and we uh, sell it only in the one, one color, which is a half white color, which is the natural color of uh, the polyester yarn. And uh, in every T-shirt that we are making, when compared to a cotton T-shirt, we will be saving around 2,600 liters of water. So this data is being derived through an LC, uh, through a life cycle assessment, which we done already. And uh, to everyone's surprise, uh, for making one kg for cultivating one kg of cotton, we require 10,000 liters of water. 
So 10,000 liters of water is what is used for cultivating one kg of uh, cotton. And when it is being converted into a garment, it, it, is, it consumes 2,600 liters of water. That is how the calculation has been derived. And no fertilizers or no pesticides is used since it is a polyester. And uh, the CO2 emission is 70% lesser since uh, we are converting it from uh, pet bottle to the yarn and the garment is being made. So we are not uh, extra extruding uh, oil or anything and we are converting one, uh, one waste into a uh, value addition, upcycle it and make it as a garment. So by that way, we are saving 70% of CO2 and 250 grams of landfill is being saved by recycling the garment and again and again. So we will be saving 250 grams of landfill. This is what is the environmental impact that we are creating in every single garment that we are uh, making and uh, selling it in the market. So moving on to the next slide. So, and, apart from, and apart from all these sustainable things, we are not uh, compromising anything on performance. So it is highly anti-odor and antimicrobial finish. So it is very comfortable to wear even on the uh, summer uh, time where we used to sweat a lot. And the moisture wicking will be very good. So the uh, sweat will not retain in the body and it will be uh, uh, emitted outside. and. Uh, highly uh, fast drying and you don't need to iron the garment for whole of your lifetime. So every time you are uh, using the garment, you will be saving the ironing cost and also the energy that is consumed for ironing. So by that way, you will be saving three kgs of CO2 emission in every garment in its lifetime. So this, this is the saving that we are uh, making and moving on to the next slide. And we are packing it with uh, cotton tag which is made of uh, cotton textile waste and we have embedded organic seeds inside the tag which when thrown it will be you just throw the tag in the soil and water it and leave it in sunlight you will have a beautiful organic plant we have uh, uh, embedded benzol seeds in the tag so and we don't use any poly bags and it has been uh, carried only through a cotton uh, uh, cotton bag as shown in the picture which is which you can use, re reuse it again and again for multi-purpose and uh, make sure that you are not uh, wasting any or uh, put, uh, sending anything to the landfill. Next slides. Next slide. This has already been uh, discussed. So we are making both the t-shirts of round neck, uh, the polo collar shirts and also reusable napkins. So this reusable napkins also is being uh, used mainly for uh, we just want to make sure that it is an alternative for uh, uh, one use tissue paper. We just want to make sure that we are stop using one use tissue paper and go for uh, handkerchief, which is our traditional practice. And you want to make sure it has been uh, uh, coming back to with a with an, uh, contemporary way and uh, with add more value additions and uh, uh, feature uh, featured garment. So moving on to the next slide. So in every t-shirts also, I mean, every napkins also, we have uh, calculated the CO2 emission and uh, the water savings, so which has already been given. So it is not only not, not only the uh, hand key that we are using, even when we are uh, using uh, any cotton uh, hand, key, hand key, this is what the savings that we will uh, make uh, by avoiding the tissue paper. So we strongly insist not to use, go, not to go for uh, tissue paper or uh, uh, paper napkins and go for reusable napkins. Next slide. So uh, speaking of the awards, we are one of the uh, 10 finalists for out of 900 contestants in UNO Seed Award. And uh, we are on the uh, negotiation for making an MOU with Indian Railways for a circular economy where we are uh, getting the pit bottles from the platforms. In, uh, we already been speaking with uh, Western Railways uh, in one platform and we are uh, recycling it and supplying them back with uh, bed linens and pillow covers instead of uh, the pet bottles. So this is something which we are already working with and we are uh, already listed in gem platform which is uh, government e market and uh, we are already been working with uh, European countries and we are planning to launch it in Scandinavian country within this year uh, within this year end. So this is my presentation and thank you so much for the uh, opportunity and I'd like to play a video before we end the session where uh, you have seen this uh, video of how, what are all the causes that we are making for garment and I would like to know, say about how we make the t-shirts. 